Alright, so I figured I would just weigh in on this really quick since it seems like a lot of my booktube counterparts, uh, Goosebump booktube counterparts especially, were kind of giving their thoughts on the upcoming Disney Plus Goosebump show that is coming out, I guess it's this year, apparently there's supposed to be a trailer coming out pretty soon for it. Uh, I know basically next to nothing about the show, guys, that's coming up besides the promotional image that everybody's seen that shows probably Slappy. I'm guessing it's Slappy and not Mr. Wood uh, there on the poster, I guess in a top hat or something with some other of the actors in the show. Anyways, so there is a Disney Plus show coming up that I don't know if it is remaking some of the episodes that we used to know from the 90s if it's a completely new thing if it's more in the vein of the goosebump movie that we had with jack black i don't know what they're doing with it basically okay so i'm completely going into this dark just giving my general thoughts on goosebumps coming back in some form so i think that disney I think, obviously, maybe some of you agree, maybe you don't, but their track record recently, especially with Marvel movies, in my opinion, is very, very kind of hit or miss, probably more so miss than hit lately, and it really kind of worries me that the heart and soul of Goosebumps and Goosebump books can be captured this day and age like it could have in the 90s i think that society was a lot different back then i think that there were certain maybe topics that were more sensitive today than they were back then that maybe these books were able to tackle in a way that was more appropriate for the time yada yada everyone has their opinion on that regardless i think that goosebumps being remade is a good thing I think not remade in the sense that like changing anything, but just remade in the sense that they're bringing it back. I guess I'm glad goosebumps is coming back to the big screen. We'll call it in some kind of way. I think that these books are important. I think reading is important in general. I think kids should get back into reading. And if like fear street was for Netflix, if this new goosebumps show for Disney plus can kind of reinvigorate an interest in reading, that's all for the good. Now, my personal opinion is I'm sort of lukewarm on the idea, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if I trust what Disney will do with the show. I hope they have some good ideas. Um, I hope they tap into some of the great so, to some of the great books and stories that Goosebumps does have. Uh, these ones, obviously, besides this particular Night of the Living Dummy book, were all done in the TV show. Um, some of them to varying degrees of quality, obviously, but they're all very kind of classic stories. And there's several more that uh, are not obviously on this table um, or that I've mentioned specifically yet. But, you know, there is a lot of good stories in this universe that Disney would be wise to take advantage of. Um, you know, you guys could probably leave a comment to, below to like kind of let me know what story should be adapted my guess is they're not going to adapt any particular story. They might try to mix them all, sort of like the movie that Jack Black was in. I mean, that idea is fine. If they can do it in a way that brings interest back to the series, or at least honors the series in some way, I'm fine with that. Uh, honestly, my interest in the show is, is kind of lukewarm until we get a, a trailer, and I'm sure that trailer will not be controversial at all, right? It, it won't have any haters, I'm sure. Uh, I, I, I kid, I'm sure that uh, it'll be quite controversial when it comes out, especially if, uh, you know, it, Slappy in the poster, you know, his look has always been a point of contention for myself. I, to me, this is Slappy. Uh, not even so much what we saw in the Goosebump movie. Uh, Jack Black's version I thought was a little bit too silly. I think of Slappy as you know a little bit more serious, a little bit more demented, like he is in the books than he was ever kind of portrayed in the movie or the shows. And the fact that they have him on the poster, you don't get a real good look at him, but he does look more like the classic style, which is a positive in my opinion. So then they need to make him a little bit more, you know, I guess evil is kind of, maybe wishy-washy for what's supposed to be a kid's show, although maybe it's aimed at teens, so maybe they can make Slappy a little bit more edgier. But I think it's important that they give Goosebumps a little bit of its edge back. That'll be okay with me. They don't have to turn it completely rated R like they kind of did with Fear Street. I know the Fear Street series was kind of maybe more of a PG-13 R. They don't need to do that with Goosebumps. They don't need to adult 
eyes, if you will, goosebumps. They can make it entertaining. They can make it, you know, appropriate for any age, and that'll be all good. I, I hope that they do something like that. So basically, all I'll say is my hope is that the show is good. If it can kind of revitalize the books, I know we have Goosebumps House of Shivers, that new book series is coming out. So I'm sure there's some kind of marketing strategy there to line that show up with maybe some releasing of the books, which which is great. I think that Goosebumps needs to come back in some form. Hopefully the show helps that along. Hopefully it kind of reinvigorates the importance of reading. But uh, as far as the quality of the show, that'll remain to be seen. I am not super hopeful, although I will at least be happy if it puts eyes back on the series, puts eyes on all the very deserving YouTubers and their content out there that make great Goosebump content and just booktube content in general. So hope for the best. I guess we'll see. If a trailer comes out, if you guys are interested, I'll give my thoughts on the trailer uh, probably pretty briefly like this video. And we'll just kind of hold our breath and wait and see, guys. So that's all for now. Like, sub if you enjoyed, all that later.